know what? Um, I'm not really sure what it's what it's designed to do, but as soon as I see it, first of all, it's way too close. I can't see it, so I push it back. All of a sudden, I see energy coming from way out there into that damn egg, my friend, from way out there. So it's almost like, from my perspective, it's like a magnet. It pulls in energies that were never going to hit this planet, ever. So what does it do? How did you design it? I don't know how I designed it. It came through <laughs> me. So I think it just kept coming through, but I, I mean, I'm an engineer. So I had the knowledge of sound and light therapy with a light box. And I was like, why would you do it a box? Why don't you do like circling around you? And then all of a sudden like bits and pieces started coming in. And I've been told it's a galactic. Um, That's egg. it. It's from planet Sirius A or B. It's a Syrian technology is what I've been told. B. B. Okay. I've heard A and I've heard B. And I resonate more with B and the blue planet. I've connected with the beings from the planet and they do come in and work on a, uh, almost like it's a team of doctors that seems to come into the egg and work on people. Interesting. And it works on a cellular level. What it's helped me to do is remember my childhood. It's cleared all the trauma. So I have a more direct uh, connection with source and the universal wisdom. I remember being born. I remembered uh, that was in the prototype egg where the, the beings were like rubbing their hands together and going, she's here. Like, Holy <laughs> shit. Um, so, you know, and I don't really know how it came through except for like my guys that were building it. They said, oh, can we just do this? It would be easier. I said, no. And they said, why not? I said, I don't fucking know. Just don't do it that way. And so a lot of it was feeling like the clear cognizant is that, you know, so I just knew that that wasn't correct. Yeah. And, and so they, they said, okay, fine. And then the, the hexagon platform that the chair sits on ha has been revealed to me that in the center of a hexagon is a portal. So you're actually in a portal. And I feel like it's creating a, pl a place for people to go to release their karma so that they can choose if they want to come back to the earth plane again in this life, in, in another lifetime instead of dying without completing their karma and then having to come back and complete it. That's the things that I'm feeling into. Right, right. Let me talk to, let me talk to a higher self of somebody that's in an egg. Hang on, let me put you in the egg and talk to your higher self. Okay, so what it looks like is that I'm going to say this, it makes it so that your higher self, what's the right words? Let me, so I always think of our higher self as this huge gaseous cloud, probably one of those pictures from the Hubble. <laughs> the telescope is probably what my mental image picture is. Just this massive consciousness on the astro and lives forever. And then when it incarnates, at least in one of these, just a little bit comes in, just a little bit, right? And it is supposed to be able to control the homo sapien, right? To get it to do its contracts. And so it, that's kind of like how religions have spirit dominion over body, right? Instead of just drinking beer and having sex and pooping all the time that you might want to do something else while you're in the human body. So what it looks like to me is more of higher self can come in or at least close to the homo sapiens body. I don't know if it actually lodges in where it sits, but there's more of it taking residence in the egg, in the egg. So when you say portal, and I started to look, I'm like, where's the portal go? And I'm like, oh my God, it goes back to the higher self. And that is in this teaching, how it would be that karma would be completed. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let me talk to your higher self. Your higher self is super genius. It feels it's super genius. We're having um, uh, channeled this into your space. It, that's the thing it's ha most happy about. And that's why I think when it showed that you have more coming, I, this is what I think. I think the egg was from your higher self's perspective. Oh, the, the egg was a good starting point. That's what I feel like. So, and, and you know what, it's so easy because you created the egg. All you have to do is go back in the egg and say, what do I create next? I know. I know. <laughs> so, um, I agree with you that energies come from not, not earth. 
they it's not that that egg is pulling up earth energy it's pulling energy from out there into the egg and oh by the way in doing that it seems higher self can pull more i almost think that the egg isn't the inside of the egg isn't really on earth that's what i think yeah it's so so higher self can because think of it this is the thing i don't understand yet so if only a little bit of my higher self comes in, it's supposed to get Lauren to do the contracts, right? That my higher self has signed, like leave engineering, become a psychic, for example. Um, <laughs> then when it can't, right? Like if I just wouldn't have le left engineering, right? Just wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't, even though my higher self has signed thousands of contracts for me to do psychic readings. And yet I'm still too afraid here on earth. So higher self, signs contracts with guides and angels who can come down here and mess with my chakras and get me to do it. So it's almost like the more you egg, the less guides and angels you need because more of higher self can come in. I don't think it comes in the way that part, does, you know, our awareness, but it gets close enough that it, I do think it can shift the homo sapiens energy field. So really what you're doing is you're making guides and angels obsolete. <laughs> Tell that to Uncle Yaya. He's like, what? <laughs> They're like, good. I can go study now. I get the free time. <laughs> right. Go drink a Mai Tai on the astral, right? I don't even know what a Mai Tai is. <laughs> I don't know why I picked that one. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so it, it cre it's almost like it changes time and space. Uh, that's probably the easiest way to say it. It changes time and space inside of it. Yeah. <laughs> now, let me ask you this from a technical standpoint. How is it grounded? So um, it changes the gravitational field um, with the energy of it. This is what one of the, Bill Reed, you know Slim Sperling? Have you ever heard of Slim Sperling? All right, he created the Twisted Copper Rings. Ah. Partner with Bill Reed. And he, he said it's changing the gravitational field of the space around it. I have pendulum workers, dowsers, that said that the energy goes out maybe a mile because they'll, they'll pendulum all the way to the door and they're, they keep going. They're like, it's still going out. So it's not really grounded except for the materials made of wood. There's no Wi-Fi or Bluetooth that's used in any of the components. And so I think it's just the sacred geometric uh, form, the golden mean ratio, and then the use of Tesla mathematics, the threes, the sixes, the nines. And, you know, I just, I don't know. That's a great, because, I, because I, I didn't think it was. Yeah. It's yeah. not like we've grounded it somehow. Interesting. Yeah. That's so interesting to me. Very interesting. <laughs> I'm so glad you booked with me. <laughs>